Hi guys! Finally, after a long week of tryouts, I managed to gather the most amazing group of people. Now, two of these fuckers are above 160%. Can you imagine that? One guy at 166. So, the percentage that I'm handling in my association is crazy. I've never been so high. And there is a guy that is at the same percentage as me, that is 145. And we're killing it. We're basically gonna be matching against tankers because there's no other way. And the reason I did this is because the draw was so horrible the last few weeks. You have to have a similar percentage in your association in order to get good draw. Now, check this out. This guy is 150. Well, actually, 149.9. And I'm at 145. Now, He's using the same formation that I was having difficulty. You know, if you follow my channel, you know that I was having a hard time against a, a guy in the league and cup and champions. The same guy. And he was 16% on top of me. Now, he was using 451B. Now, this guy is using something very, very similar. And the only thing that is different is that he's only... 5% more in percentage than me. He's 150 and 145. Now, that percentage, it seems to have no effect. Like, my players have way more. Check this out. 4, 1, see, see that? My players are way better trained. And that 5%, it seems to have no effect in, in the outcome of the game. Because if it did, he wouldn't care that my players have better stats, but it does. Nice catch by Kerr. Now, when you think about this, you see 16% impossible to beat. 5%, mm, we're gonna see if I win. Now, if a 5% is something that is not gonna have a big impact, then the number must be around 10%, maybe 12%. But there is definitely a number when the weight of the percentage starts to be something that defines the outcome. And take into account the fancy left flank long counters on, uh, basically no pressure and zonal marking. I was using the same formation against Chico FC, that's the guy who beat me in Cup, Champions and League last season. And I'm using the same with this guy, and he has 5%. That has no impact, I'm gonna win. Nice goal by Jose. Now, here's the thing. My team now is uh, is very well trained. In associations, I have this like uh, like theory. It, this is me. I mean, I might be a little bit crazy, but I think in associations, the simulation of the outcome is not entirely dependent on your team. So, say I'm very good and I have a very good team, but everyone in my association is 30% less and it just so happened that we got matched against opponents that are 40% higher than anyone in my association. If my association can't handle that, they are supposed to lose. Therefore, the simulation of the game in the weekend is going to be also for me to lose regardless of my percentage, regardless of, of my tactic. I think it's more like a, a simulation of the entire group. So for me, in order to really test this, I'll have to challenge him to a friendly. But it's very similar. I mean, now we are in a point where I have people in my association that have very similar percentage, they're well-trained, I'm having a game against another that is very well-trained also, so it doesn't have so much of a weight as if to say my association is helping. See that? 149, 115, that's a 5%. And he can't beat me. He can't do anything. Now, we're going at 51 minutes. The match is gonna start to get very, very good. Check this out. Check this out, he can boom. <laughs> My defense is solid, it's solid. I have a guy there that is 160, then 140 I think. And these are mutants with 300% attributes. 
he can do anything. Now, what you're also going to notice here is that some of my members, um, well, they're pretty new. I have a level 4. Nice goal. Nice one. That one that you see over there, the first one that is losing 2 to 1, he's a level 4. So he's learning, but he's at 161%. Then there is another guy, there's the Serbian guy, there's the last guy you're gonna see here. He's at 166%. And he's not in, in, in the match right now, he's not connected, we don't, we don't have the bonus from him. And still, I'm winning, and still we're winning. And that's a goal. Bahari. 181%. This is an interesting mutant. I think you saw in the videos that you know it's a mutant that took um, took a lot of work, almost like four thousand rest to make, and it's almost a perfect mutant, uh, the, the ultimate striker. It doesn't have all the attributes at two hundred and forty percent, but it's quite there. More, no, that's not a goal. Mm -mm. Good one. Yeah, Nestor is gonna handle that very well. He knows what he's doing. Now the stats here are going very well. Check it out. Heal, that's the number two over there in the defense. Is being rated at, at eight point seven no way. Boom. Jesus Christ. Do you see that? Candy Swanapol, number eight, the left midfielder, gives a pass to the number 10, the striker. See that? It's so good. If you have a chance to look at my team later, those stats are crazy. It's not just happening because I'm not beating a guy at 150% with 4 0 just because I'm lucky. You should check those stats. These players are crazy, and I've seen it constantly. <laughs> oh, now he's losing. I think he got one player like injured or something, I don't know what happened. He doesn't have a sub. <laughs> but overall we're winning, okay. Oh, that is killer. That's on the right midfielder, by the way. From far, can you, can you imagine that? See, Husk. Those two arrows are insane. Those players have so much speed and stamina. Now he's saying that he got a player injured. Yeah, that's what he's losing. Well, now we're winning. So this is pretty easy now. We can make any substitution. We're basically concerning about the rest. We don't care much about the rest. Goal. Again, boom. Swanepoel, again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, that player. And it seems we're going home with a uh, 6-0. That's amazing. That's amazing. We're at 5%. We handled that very well. You can see clearly how a mutant is gonna basically define the outcome here. At this percentage, it doesn't matter that he has an advantage of 5%. Clearly. And of course, the highest rated player was Bahari Prince Lu with 9.2. Look at those stats, crazy. Send thank you, everyone. And now let's, let's go over here for a second. Let's try to see some of the other outcomes. We are, overall, we're winning. Yep, that's a 12-6. Oh, that, that gotta be... Why are you, let's see. Two to one. See, he has 161. He is a little bit inexperienced, though, in this because this is his first weekend. But we're gonna be fine. Now he, of course, he knows what he's doing, of course. And I can handle five percent easily. And then we have, let's see. Oh, Jorge. Now. He's against 104% and he has 
he's winning by five zero. The reason is again he has very well trained players. He's very efficient at that percentage. 166.7. Now this guy is very interesting because he's not gonna stop there. He's gonna keep our training. He's gonna get to uh, yeah probably yeah he's he's gonna get to 180 percent and I'm actually helping him to train a player because most of his players are good they have a, a high percentage and it's true that a higher percentage is uh, the percentage is gonna be definitory it's not gonna matter the tactic the formation or anything but the highest percentage but if he were to be matched against someone in his same level, then I want him to win. That's why I'm training with him a player. We're training a, a very good forward. An AMC, AML, and AMR. Check this out. Uh, let's see, squad, let's go bottom. No, 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 those. Amazing team. That one. 118% of your good training. With my guidance, He's making the, and it's not finished. It's not finished, of course. It's gonna get to 180. We're gonna have an amazing player there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're gonna handle that well. The second leg is gonna come. And you're gonna handle that guy, showing what you're worth. <sighs> that was it, guys. That is my um, my new group. After a long weeks. A long week of tryouts. I got this amazing group of people. See you in the next one.